So in today's video, I want to talk to you about effort and how putting some effort into your photography will get you better results. Let's jump in. my mum's birthday this week, my dad's birthday and my son's birthday and I've got a couple of editing jobs on as well. So I've got quite a busy week on so I wanted to get something quick in the bag for this Wednesday's video. Um, and I, I was thinking about what, what sort of video ideas I could do that would be really quick and I just thought to myself about the effort that you put into photography. So photography is really, it's an easy hobby to pick up. Um, but the more effort you put into it, the more impressive your results are gonna be. And I just wanted to show you today some quick images that I'm gonna take. So I'm gonna take one. Uh, so the first one I'm gonna take is from the roadside. So as I got here today, I saw these two gnarly trees. They look quite cool, uh, the way they're sort of leaning towards, well, this one's leaning towards this one and they're a bit intertwined at the top. Um, so I wanna grab an image of that and I wanted to show you the first of all, I could have just took the image from the roadside because the road is literally here. So I could have just took it from the roadside. So I'll just pop that one up on the screen quickly. Okay, so that's a really basic photo. Um, straight from the roadside, no effort put into it at all. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another photo, but this time I'm going to walk around and look for a better angle. And there are a couple of images that I'd like to capture and I wouldn't have got that just being on the side of the road. So just having that little two minute wander around the trees has given me a couple of ideas of different images. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take one of them and I'm just going to show you what that looks like. So that image I like um, the way it's framed and that's the rocks underneath the trees and then I've got the rock in the front as the foreground element so I've got three things going on there that I quite like I've got the rock at the front the trees in the midground or almost midground and then the rocks at the back um, which are quite far away just by me walking around and having a look at the compositions available has improved that image now I can go another step to that. I'm going to put a polarizer on. So I'm going to take the same image again, or thereabouts, but with this time with a polarizer. I've got the same composition. At least I think I have. Okay, 
Okay, so that's the image with the polarizer on. So now I can go another step further, and again, a little bit more effort, is I can get my tripod out. I can set my tripod up here, get the same image, but this time I can photo stack my image. So I'm gonna do that and I'll pop that up on the screen. So that's a photo stacked image, and I'll pop that up on the screen. Okay, so the other bit that is a little bit of an effort, but kind of not, um, and that is patience. So it's learning to just sit there and wait for the light to change, because a flat image with no shadows, nothing going on in it, might look okay to you, but if you just waited, say, 10 minutes for the cloud to come over, give it a little bit more depth to the image, um, it can make that image so much more different. So I'm not gonna be able to demonstrate that today because I haven't got the time, but you will see, I'll put a couple of images up that I took just as I was walking around, um, and you can see the difference in light changes and what that can do to your images. The other thing we can do with our images was once we get them back home and rather than just leaving them is we can process them. So we do a bit of processing in Lightroom, Photoshop, whatever your editing choice is. Um, and that's just going to give it that little bit more of a tweak. And I know, I know there's a lot of um, learning to going on to taking photos. There's a lot of learning about composition. There's learning about um, when to use polarizers and how to photo stack and learn in Lightroom. But that's the effort that you put into it to improve your images. And if you just learn a little bit by little bit by little bit, eventually all that knowledge will build up and your images will improve. goes without saying you know every photographer starts somewhere and you all start everybody starts at a different level and you know some people find it really easy some people struggle um, but just perseverance just putting that effort in on a on a daily basis whenever how often you've got the spare time to do it and that's me done for another video so hopefully you enjoyed the content let me know in the comments if you like the images if you haven't already please do consider subscribing to the page it really does help um, and I really do appreciate that. And if you did like this video, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Um, yeah, and I will catch you on the next one.